Aboard the International Space Station, Expedition 24 flight engineer Shannon Walker, the first NASA astronaut who is a native Houstonian, was joined by her crewmates, Tracy Caldwell Dyson and Doug Wheelock, as she fielded questions from KPRC TV Houston during an in flight interview on August 30, 2010. Walker arrived on the station with Wheelock in June and will return to Earth in late November. Caldwell Dyson arrived on the complex in April and will return to Earth in late September. Joining me now from the International Space Station are the flight engineers from Expedition 24, Tracy Caldwell Dyson, Douglas Wheelock, and Shannon Walker. How are you guys? We're doing very well, thank you. We want to first start with Shannon. We know you're a native Houstonian. Shannon, how does it feel to represent the space city all the way in space? Well, I'm, I'm very proud to be here and, and to be a native Houstonian and, and to represent Houston up here in space. It's a wonderful opportunity. Thanks. Now, can you tell us a little bit about your life growing up in Houston, where you went to high school and college? Well, I suppose my life was uh, pretty typical growing up in Houston. I went to Westbury High School and then went on to Rice University uh, for college. Okay, Shannon, I know it's your first trip into space. What's it been like for you? I'm sure lots of new discoveries. Yeah, it's been absolutely wonderful up here. Every day it seems like I'm learning something new about how to operate better in space. Um, we're just busy all the time taking care of the science and taking care of the station, and it's, it's, it's just a wonderful time. And Shannon, we all know this is your first time up there. There's another question. Did you bring anything special with you? Well, I have a few pictures of family and friends, but uh, there's not a lot of room to pack much stuff on a Soyuz. <laughs> right. Now, okay, we're going to get to a serious question. All of you guys went through a tense situation a few weeks ago when there were some problems with the station's cooling system. Were you able, what were your roles in the repairs, and is it fixed now? It is fixed now, and uh, we're we're glad of that. It did, there were a, was a couple of a couple of weeks there where it's touch and go. Uh, we had alarms that woke us woke us up, and uh, just before we were getting ready to go to bed, and uh, we had a pump module that failed outside, and it uh, really put the team in a, a very challenging uh, situation. But uh, we were able to come through and uh, get it repaired, and we're back to doing science on the space station. Okay, thanks, glad to hear that. Now, when do you all get back to, to come to Earth? When do you get to come back? Well, Courtney, some of us are coming back uh, sooner than others. Uh, myself, uh, Alexander Skvortsov, and Mikhail Korienko are returning in a couple of weeks, uh, docking on September 24th, and returning. Uh, I'll be returning to Houston uh, uh, shortly after that. And uh, for Doug and Shannon, uh, they'll be returning uh, around Thanksgiving. Okay, thanks, Tracy. And I have to say, by the way, I love the hair. Shannon, one more question for you. Do you have any messages for people back home who might be watching? Oh, wow. Um, for people back home, I think uh, they should be proud of NASA and proud of what we're accomplishing on the space station. We're doing good things up here. Oh, thank you so much, Shannon, and thank you all for joining us. We really appreciate you taking the time out to talk to us today. It was good to talk to you, Courtney. Thank you.